Hey Office Strikers, welcome to the Rare Review for Avengers Defenders War. My name's Eric. And I'm Mike Nito. Let's do this. Alright, starting off, Doctor Strange 035, Defenders Mystical Keywords, real name Stephen Strange. Uh, he ignores character bases for the line of fire. Wow. Not bad that, from the back line. You can put people in front of him and he can just shoot right through him with that six range. Um, shifting focus, this is the one and only time we're going to cover this for this entire video. Um, give Doctor Strange a free action if you begin uh, your yeah your turn on the map. Yep, okay. Uh, replace him with another character with this trait on the same click number. Uh, second trait, Defenders Together. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, if a character uses the Defender's Team ability to replace its defense value with Doctor Strange's, modify that character's defense value by plus one if it has the Defender's keyword. So his is very specific to Defenders, unfortunately. Yep, only if they have the Defender's keyword. In a special uh, damage power, Doctor Strange can use M-Power and Enhancement. Whoa, that's wow. amazing. Especially since you're already hiding behind somebody. Yep. And then Unique Modifier, when he uses either, also modify the attacker's attack value by plus one. So he's basically giving you an RCE, range combat expert, or CCE, close combat expert, when but, making attacks. But it's you have to do it half and a half. Yep. Wow. God, pair him with WizKid. That's 75 points of, I'm going to shoot you from a million miles away. <laughs> Ouch. But, uh, you know, pairing him with the other shifting focused is a must. He does have the Defender's TA. Uh, sidestep Pensai, this is the offensive version of Doctor Strange in the rares. Um, has uh, energy shield deflection with a 16, drops into close combat expert, and exploit. So he's looking to kill defenses. They figure that you're shooting until they get up to you, hit you a good once, and then you can try and uh, punch him with an exploit and then, uh, you know, probably switch into somebody else and get away at that yep. point. For sure. But uh, overall, just a really great offensive version of Strange. Six range starts with 11 attack. I mean, I... <laughs> For 50 points, I couldn't ask for more. Nah, not, not even a little bit. All right, next up, we have number 36, Swordsman, Lethal Legion, Masters of Evil, and Martial Artist keyword. He is 50 points with the Masters of Evil team ability. Four range. Wow, four range. That was that came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Eight speed charge, uh, spe attack power, the whole dial, and then reflexes, willpower, which sets up at the end there. His special attack power is called, It's Not Just a Sword. Swordsman can use Blades, Claws, Fangs. Before making a close attack, choose one effect for the attack. Swordsman uses Blades, Claws, Fangs, and damage dealt as penetrating damage, colon. The hit target is given an action token, mm -hmm. colon. Or the hit target can't be moved or placed until your next turn. Hmm. This gives him some crazy tactical actions here. You can look at their dial and say, huh, you have one token. Let's give you double tokens. I don't want you phasing anywhere. Let's just lock you down. You can't Ooh, go nowhere. Sword in the foot. Basically. And or I want to deal penetrating because I have two damage and I'm rolling blades. And my minimum value is a one after wow. new rolls. So that's... He is ridiculous. He has some options and he's only 50 points. And, you know, that's a cheap Master of Evil TA. He can keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh -huh. his, his values never get bad. He always has a 10 or 11 attack. He always has two damage. So there's no reason not just to keep attacking with this figure if you really Jeez. want to. So I'm going to be honest. I've never actually looked at that figure, but in hearing you review that, now I understand why everybody's like, Rare Swordsman, he's amazing. Because he is. And this is an ID card Colin that's oh. sticking around too. So that is a really good option. The four speed charge and or range, he can shoot if you really want to for 11 do. And at 50 points, <laughs> Mystique can call him and that's just gross. Yeah, so that is Swordsman, guys. Great pickup. All right. Uh, Black Widow, number 37. <clears throat> Marvel Knights Spy, real name Natasha Romanova, ignores uh, elevated and hindering for movement purposes. Has the Marvel Knights trait. We're going to cover this once. I don't know if anybody else is going to have it in this row. Yeah, there is. At the beginning of the game, for all characters with this trait, choose one. Characters using this trait have a minimum attack value of 10, or characters using this trait are wild cards. I love that ability. Isn't that just really good? It's just so versatile. And, like, it makes sense with the Marvel Knights because they... They play with their team members a lot, so... And then Daredevil's partner, uh, her second trait, Black Widow can use stealth. I mean, wow. This is the charge version, so she's got charge and incapacitate, uh, willpower, sidestep for three clicks, and just turns into a close combat monster. So, I mean, she's got that traded stealth. Just hide her in hindering, wait for somebody to come base you, then give them a, a close combat uh, 
expert to the face with close combat reflexes or combat reflexes excuse me to uh, protect you for range so while they're approaching you can take shots at them too for 50 points this rare one you know it's a real toss-up between the, the rare and the uncommon but i think i would lean more to the rare yes she does not start with running shot but i mean the the capabilities are definitely there i only wish she had shape change now i want to make one quick note about the, Mar the marvel knights straight okay so Wild card's good, but sometimes you don't have the option to pull a good wild card. If you pick the 10 attack minimum, that attack can never drop below a 10. Through perplexes, through negatives, one thing I've heard called out is uh, Bizarro Green Arrow and Bizarro Hot Girl. Oh, they cannot oh, oh, oh. drop their attacks below a 10 with their powers. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to inverse uh, range combat expert. Well, I still get a 10. Deal with it. And even for Punisher, his 8 range is, was 1 damage. He gets he does 4 <laughs> instead. So he, that's not going to matter for his damage either. Yeah, wow. Ten attack from eight squares away, that's four damage. That's interesting. So, guys, yeah. keep that in mind when you're the Marvel Knights characters. Speaking of Marvel Knights, the next one we have here is Jessica Jones. Um, 30, uh, number 38, Avengers, Marvel Knights, Detective Avengers. That's cool. Yeah, man, there you go. Um, so, she has a Marvel Knights trait. We covered that already. Um, they have another, she has another trait called They Always Leave Clues. Okay, not a damage power. <laughs> Uh, Pose creature within six squares can't use stealth. That is very, very powerful, and she has this great power called Leap Climb, where she can get right into position through an elevated, hindering, whatever characters. Just bam. Here I am. You can't use stealth. How many points is she? 15 points. 15 points. Zero range. Her stats are not very good, but if you really want her to be an attacker, you can pick Marvel Knights and give her a 10 attack <laughs> from those measly Why? nine eights and sevens but honestly guys if you can be wild card and pick like a mystics ta or a stealth batman or batman six, yeah just do that instead yeah it's really hard to think that you know i mean she's a great stealth buster but she doesn't have any life to her i mean yeah she's 15 points but i've got to throw her out there within the standard six range now for that most characters get that she's going to get shot so if i can't give her stealth in some way yeah i can bust your stealth for about two and a half seconds before you just blow her up yeah. And I just fed you 15 points. She, she does have toughness and reflexes, so she is meant to take a hit, but she's not going to take more than one or two tops to die. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen maybe an outwit included on our dial or a tra traded stealth. But the, hey, there are other versions of Good Jones we have as well available to us and coming out soon. It's okay. She's For what she is, 15 points to be your stealth buster I think she's for a very vital role. Could be important. I was going to say, I think she's another one of those resource pieces you were talking about where you've got this really low-costed figure that does something that would help the rest of your team, but it is very possibly expendable. Look at WizKid, look at Ironheart from our, our Chase review that we'll be doing, and then uh, look at Jessica Jones, look at Howard the Duck. You know, they're all low-point figures that do something that's just crazy. Uh, Howard the Duck's a little, little more capable, but overall, it's just like, yeah, they're, you're going to one-shot them and they're done. But when I had them out there, they really just changed the whole game for me. I was able to lose one thing, and it's all I needed for that one turn. You scored 15 to 50 points. Good for you. Yeah. All right. Purple Man, number 39, Thunderbolt Spy. Real name, Zebediah Kilgrave. Love that name. Jeez. <laughs> Could you go any more over the top with that name? I mean, have you seen his skin color? He's purple. He wasn't always purple, I though. Know. Anyway, uh, trait, once a victim, always mind to control. <laughs> Purple Man considers opposing characters with pheromone tokens to be adjacent and have a zero point value for mastermind purposes. Um, make you do whatever I want. Purple Man can use mind control. When he does, modify his attack value by plus three. He doesn't take feedback damage for using it, and hit characters are given a pheromone token. So he's got two bolts with six range. Not bad for and, then, and that's his movement power, has his whole dial. Defensive power, again, his whole dial. Purple Man can use Mastermind. When he does, he may remove a pheromone token from an opposing character to transfer damage to that character. And that's anywhere on the map. Yeah. And they're considered zero points and Jason. <sighs> I mean, wow. Oh, by the way, he's also Minions of Doom TA, so he's a wild card. You can take Mystics, you can take Batman Enemy, you can take Sinister Syndicate. Yeah. Replace that attack value up to a 11, 12, and then get plus enemy. three. Yeah. Look at that 12 from uh, Shiva. From Shiva. And that's, uh, that's he's 70 points, so that's only 120. And you just mind control everybody. Whew. And it doesn't say that they can only have one pheromone token, so you can continually 
mind control them until and keep taking them off and just stockpile. Yeah. Ben I, doesn't have willpower though, but he does not. But there are ways to grant that. Yes, there is. <laughs> so I don't know this purple man. He also has uh, perplex on click two and three. Um, you know, he he's going to be a threat. I see somebody who's using him correctly in the meta circuit. It's just going to be off the hook. I mean, this is some serious undying tech right here. It can be. It's just it can be. Cause... Two bolts, so I'm handing out at least two pheromone tokens yeah. every turn. Yeah. If I've got something that can uh, replace my attack value, I can get a really solid attack on that. And even without it, when I'm mind controlling, I'm looking at 12s and 11s, 10s at my late dial. I mean, they really wanted to mind control, and that was it. You know, it's funny. He can be outwit. Do you play Foggy with him? He can't be. <laughs> oh, just, man. He pawns around Foggy all day. <laughs> Whew. And that's long enough for you to get some pheromone tokens, so yeah. that if they... Oh, man. Outwit is definitely his nemesis, but as long as he's played correctly in the right way... He's, he's going to be brutal. He, he takes a player to know some resources to build around him. As, on his own, without the right kind of support, he will just die. But it, there are tons and tons of figures out there that really make him amazing, guys. T-Bolts, um, yeah, good good stuff. All right, next up we have number 40, Count Nefaria. Lethal Legion, Magia, Ruler. His name is Lucino Nefaria. Hmm. He has a defense power on, wow, Kind of spread that was dial. As uh, you see there, iconic reserves. Count Nefaria can use ionic. Oh, ionic reserves. Count Nefaria can use invulnerability and regeneration. When he uses regeneration and has one action token, he doesn't subtract two from the D6 roll. <laughs> he does have indomitable. He is 200 points and has 7 range. So are you expecting the errata that the no minus 2 means you'll just roll a d6 and instead of healing the half, you'll just do whatever you a roll? full d6 roll. And, you know, he has 9 clicks of life, you see there. And he has one on the last click, one on click 6, and one on click 3. So either way, he's going to just keep on coming back. As long as they don't know what the power. It is outwittable. Um, she has a damage power for the first 3 clicks called... Kingpin of Los Angeles. Count Nefaria can use leadership and stealth. I love stealth. <laughs> stealth on this guy. With running shot, flight, pen side, 18 defense with invincible. This guy is a tank. He is just getting some damage in. Look at that 12 on his first defense there with that invuln and regen, four damage. My goodness, this yeah. guy. Whew. So, talking about his dial a little bit here, uh, as you guys see there, he goes into this like close combat charge, super strength piece with the uh, in, in um, pervious, and uh, I can't say peas today. You know the peas, perplex, perplex, and then last ones are hypersonic pulse wave, invuln, and then one more of that juicy, juicy regen click. Which one, two, three, four, five, six? Get he you. can end right back on his first one if he's on one token. On wow. The that is insane. Um, great figure. Uh, if you pull him in seal, you might just win. Not always, but you could. He's full 200, though. That's your tent pulling that. I would. Foggy <laughs> Nelson. Number 41, Marvel Knights. Uh, keyword, real name, Franklin Nelson. Trait, trust me, I'm a lawyer. At the beginning of your turn, choose a friendly character of 150 points or less. Until your next turn, as long as the chosen character is adjacent to Foggy Nelson, they can't have their powers countered or their combat values decreased by opposing game effects. So, yeah, can't modify my, my stuff down, can't counter me, can't outwit me. You know, I mean, I, I think they're going to have to do an errata on that. It's going to say their powers are protected. Yeah, it'll be something around like that with the new rules. And he's got willpower, so he's got the ability to move around quite a bit. Starts with sidestep. 15 points. Again, we're looking at these resource figures that they're just they're out there on the board so they can be eliminated to level the playing field, but they at the same time, they can give you that edge that you're looking for. While having them, they will do their job. All right, number 42, Gladiator. Emissaries of Evil, Magia, and Martial Artist. Wait, 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 wait. Gladiator, shouldn't he have something like Shi'ar and, you know, space and cosmic and have a big purple mohawk and a red cape? Oh, wait. Sorry. Wrong, wrong Gladiator. <laughs> it's like, oh, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> All right. So for 60 points, this guy's pretty interesting. He's got, so, five range, 
with running shot, a defense power of invulnerability, not too shabby, toughness, and then nothing, and it goes on to flurry blade. So this guy has a really cool attack power called Titanium Saw Blade Gauntlets. Gladiator can use Blades Claws Fangs, period, so he always has his regular Blades Claws. Oh, yeah. When he hits a single opposing character with a range attack, he may roll a d6 and replace his damage value with the result, and that value is locked. So, that's a raised blades, ladies and gentlemen, right there. I'm not always fearful. I'm not sure how they're gonna run of that for the new rules of blades. Like, will he get the minimum mm -hmm. or no? Minimum you printed. Why not? Because it's not technically blades claws fangs at range. It's mm, just roll true. a d6 and lock it. But they're getting rid of the term locked. So it might just be replaced, and it mm. can't be modified. I That's don't know. true. There's new terms for that, but we'll get into that later as the new rules come out. But this guy, not too bad. I've seen him sealed, and he just wrecks face. So a little bit of spoiler for everybody in the uh, Daredevil series. Melvin yep. is his name. He's the guy who makes Daredevil's outfit. He really does. And uh, there's an Easter egg in there that uh, I heard that if you look around his shop, it's actually got that symbol that he's got on his chest on the figure somewhere in his shop. Huh. Guess I'll so, watch that season again. Check that out. Yep. All right. Machete. Number 43, Batrock's Brigade. Uh, real name, Ferdinand Lopez. This guy. Oh, my goodness. You know, so this, his his trait, or excuse me, his special attack power, uh, he can use Blaze Claw's Fangs. When he doesn't hit, instead roll 2d6 and choose one to be the result. This 2d6 and choose one to be the result is insane. I, I've seen this on Nebula, Machete, Turtles, Leonardo, Foot, foot Soldiers. Injuries. I mean, wow. If you see a figure that has that, you are looking to do some up-close and crazy damage. And for 30 points, you sidestep him in there and just dish out the pain. I mean, sure, take my 30 points. You're going to be taking some serious blades damage before I lose him, though. I mean, yeah, he has no defense powers, no damage powers, and he takes four clicks to kill. Like... For 30 points, you're like, oh, I hit him for two or three. He's probably toast, right? No, nope. he's still good. Got that nine attack with two damage with that double <laughs> D6 blades. He he really is just a beast. We've been seeing him really clean up in the uh, the sealed circuit at probably, our shop. So. Probably won't see a lot of constructive play, but if you like your uh, Batrox Brigade, he'll be fun to play with him. They all have this theme where they can do a lot of damage in different ways. You know? All right, next up we have Gargoyle, number 44. Defenders, Monster, Mystical, Past, all good keywords. Real name, Isaac Christians. Christens, yeah. <laughs> sure. He has a trait, Defenders Together. So, um, once per turn, fuckers with this trait. If a character uses Defenders Team Ability to replace its defense value with Gargoyles, that character can use Probability Control during this attack. Not too bad. Nice. He does start with a 17 with Toughness. That's about the highest he ever gets. He has a 16 late dial with Reflexes down there, as you see. Dial has a lot of powers, rainbow of powers on every single click. Straightforward. Uh, charge, sidestep, blade, steel energy to keep coming back. Um, toughness, yeah, energy, see, toughness and combat reflexes with exploit, prob, and then exploit. <laughs> so for, what is he, 70 points? 75 points, flight he can carry, and he has four range to attack from range. I love how they're giving everyone a little bit of range now because that seems to be a big thing with close combat figures when they have zero. They're just kind of... Sitting ducks out there in the wilds when they could surprise four. <laughs> oh, my charge is gone. Four, you know. But yeah, that's him in a nutshell. Um, I would definitely play him in a defender's team for more carry. I know Dr. Strange can carry up to four people, but you know, there's a lot, a lot of low point defenders. He can carry more. So, just a quick note on those close combat pieces that have zero range. These new rules and everybody being able to pick up light objects, that gives you a default six range with two damage. So, remember that in your strategies that if you're you know, you've got a whole close range team. Just throw out those light objects and have a couple people pick them up and surprise your opponent with a sudden six range out of nowhere. Yeah, and if you know figures that can just make light objects <laughs> from past sets, that's a good idea too. More objects. All right. Nighthawk, number 45, Defenders Squadron Sinister, martial artist. Real name, Kyle Richmond. Uh, he has the Defenders together. When he does... Uh, that character can choose to re-roll one of the dice in the attack roll. So it's a half a prob. Half a prob. Uh, special movement power he has for his first two clicks. Uh, he can use charge, flurry, and stealth. Uh, pretty straightforward dial uh, as it goes. The charge, flurry, and stealth I think is a real solid throwback to old uh, Nighthawk Prime. Prime at the very end of his dial, yep. But uh, I don't see people playing this for 70 points as long as they've got Nighthawk Prime floating around, you know, until retirement. But yeah, he does have Outwit. That's a pretty powerful top dial. 
yeah, stealth outwit and charge flurry, and then second click he goes to uh, close combat expert. Still has combat reflexes and 18 defense, so he can be hiding in stealth. If you push him onto that click, it's they're going to be hard pressed to take him down. And if they're going to base him, <laughs> grr. Close combat expert, pop. Yeah, go ahead, come here. I'm gonna <laughs> either going to flurry you or I'm going to give you just four straight up with my 10 attacks. So, I mean. He, he really is good for his 70 points, but like I said, I don't see him being fielded as long as Nighthawk Prime exists. Yeah. All right, number 46, the Owl. He has Magia, Animal, Ruler. Who? Oh, wow, really? You had to go with that one? <laughs> Who? Right over my head. All right, save five points, zero range, standard combat symbols. He has a special trait and a, t and a movement power. Trait's called Enhanced Metabolism. He can use Toughness, so trade Toughness with his Super Senses and Reflexes. I like trade Toughness. Makes, sure. po makes Poison very less scary. You just gotta remember it's there if you forget yeah, about don't it. don't forget it, guys. Mm -hmm. And then his first three clicks have Glide. The Owl can use Charge and the Flight ability. So he's able to move over stuff to come get you. So that's pretty handy. Um... He has sets up last two clicks, precision strike with outwit, and then blades with perplex. I do like blades perplex because he has ten nine nine. You can go up to eleven ten ten with two damage and roll the blades and just get good value. Very very unknown character to me. I don't know him a whole lot. I thought he was kind of a cool figure to see in Magia. I've wanted to make more Magia teams since Daredevil's kind of a big thing right now. The only place I ever really saw Al was in the uh, Age of Ultron uh, storyline in the comic books. He was one of the uh... The new superpowers, believe it or not, oh, when really? Ultron took over the world, right they were they were hunting down Peter Parker. So, <laughs> but uh, up next, Hellcat number forty-seven, Defenders, Marvel Diva, Celebrity, Martial Artist, Mystical, real name Patsy Walker. Uh, trait Defenders together. Um, that character can use super senses during the attack, so that's the defend, and then they can use super senses. Uh, special attack power on her first four clicks. It's Patsy. Uh, Hellcat can use Empower, period. So she's got Empower. And then the additional bonus you get here is while a friendly character named Jessica Jones is attacking, Hellcat can use Probability Control. Now, I've heard a lot of hemming and hawing here because, you know, she doesn't share a keyword with Jessica Jones, so that breaks your theme team. But, you know, for 45 points, looking at that dial, I think you're getting everything you're paying for. And if you just so happen to have a Jessica Jones on your team that can attack that you're needing a probability control with <sighs> then you know it's there i mean it really feels like i think they should have included that on jessica jones rather than on hellcat but i mean sure, yeah but not? there is like we said there's more jessica jones on their way the 15.1 isn't the only option with this and then you know uh charge precision strike or hold dial starts with super senses drops to combat reflexes and back to super senses uh, has empower for those first four clicks and uh, alternates between charge and sidestep. Really just a close combat character. Again, I really like to see stealth on close combat characters just to, uh, you know, combat but -um -bum, the uh, the ranged characters. But overall, I think she would be worth it uh, for 45 points just adding her in. Uh, you know, going to help you on a martial arts team, mystical, and uh, get some of those celebrities in there because they're, they're going kind of crazy with that, that word lately. So. Right. All right. Next, we have Nuke, number 48. Thunderbolts, Soldier. More T-Bolts. Real name, Frank Simpson. And uh, if I'm to be correct, he was on the Jessica Jones yeah. Netflix show. And I, I love they got the, the pills thing in here. This was awesome. I was like, wow, this, this feels like it just leapt right off the show. <laughs> so, yeah, treat. Red, white, and blue pills. And it looks like a big flag over his face. At the, America. <laughs> at the beginning of your turn, you may choose one pill type. This turn, red pill, Nuke can use Battle Fury and modifies attack by plus one. I just use attack by on the screen there. Tens and nines, so up to elevens and tens, if you so want that. And give her that pesky shape change. White pill, heal Nuke one click and he can't attack this turn. This would be the ones where he's uh, tokened up either one or two and just heal back that pushing damage for a turn and clear. That's something you can do. And then he has blue pill. Nuke can use precision strike this turn. He does have five range, one bolt. With the precision strike, that will work effectively for him if he so chooses. Because he's not getting the battle fury if he picks mm -hmm. the red pill. So he has options, guys. I like them because he does have running shots. So you probably will pick the 
precision strike first. And as you get down dial, you'll pick the charge with the red pill, which gives him plus one to attack, and the battle fury. So not too shabby for a 70 point figure. Um, I like T-Bolts. I'll make a team with him. And, and don't forget your Matrix jokes while uh, playing Nuke. Choose the red pill or the blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> and if you so choose, guys, make him really buff and give him the uh, iron. Iron Man chest piece, whatever it's called. The Hulkbuster torso? The Hulkbuster torso. Make my, my signature move? Your signature move. I'm taking that from you because he needs it. He, he does. All right. Porcupine, number 49, Emissaries of Evil. Yeah, that keyword. Uh, Lethal <laughs> Legion, Magia, and Soldier. I only say that because we've, we've got a tournament this week that's uh, villain keywords, and I've been looking at Emissaries of Evil. I was like, hey, I could probably do something with this. Not really, no. Sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> Maybe that leave it next time. Real name, Alex Gentry. Uh, special attack power is whole dial. When Porcupine is hit with a close attack, after action is resolved, deal the attacker one avoidable damage. Well, you know, when you punch a Porcupine, you should expect to get needles. Uh, he's got plasticity and toughness for 40 points. Yeah, I know this is like one of the rarely clicked or unclicked Clicks. figures that people have been asking for. I am just very underwhelmed by this figure. I mean, I'm going to go tie you up and then watch him die and hand you 40 points. And yeah. You took a couple of damage for doing it. I, I played him in sealed and he just didn't, didn't do what I wanted him to do. Him being shot is a little unfair. But yeah. it happens. Where well, you get around it? All right. Any more rares? You have the last one here in the set? Yep, you're on the last one. All right. So we have Batrock. Batrock's Brigade, Martial Artist. Okay, what's his real name? I'm going to have you do this because you have a better accent than me. Oh. Uh, Jorge Batrock. All right. Thank you. So, you're welcome, Triple T. <laughs> I tried. I tried really hard. <laughs> um, uh, his movement power, which he has for the first three of the dial, which is, in my opinion, the coolest thing since Nightwing from World's Finest, Batrock can use Sidestep. When he has one action token, he may use Sidestep twice this turn and may be given a free action to make a close attack. That's really cool. So they basically, call me Zellipair. And with his, with his improved movement, he has ignored character bases, elevated, and hindering terrain. Got no strings. To hold me down. <laughs> <laughs> I had to finish that. <laughs> all right. So eight speed all across the board, and then side step, side step. That's twelve squares. Your uh, Batrock just leaped and moved, and then he has uh, reflexes. So hopefully you base somebody with that seventeen defense and did two damage with precision strike. Most likely one because toughness is a thing. But hey, boot to that. <laughs> you moved twelve squares and did one damage that probably really mattered. Um, not too bad for 40 points, guys. This guy has five clicks of life for 40 points. This seems well under costed for what you're getting. It's not a ton of damage, but there are ways to mitigate this. It perplexes, empowers. Just, you can make this awesome for one-time strikes if you need to. I just really wish that double sidestep was more like Nightwings and not needing that action token. token. But, you know, things happen, sure. I mean, he could go sidestep. Move. Eight, sidestep. Sidestep. But you're getting the same. You're getting the same. What I would like is if you go eight, sidestep, punch, sidestep back. But you want to be in with that reflexes rather than away, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, guys. That was the sum of our rares review. Hope you all have found this uh, helpful and uh, help you decide what kind of rares you're hoping to pull or looking to keep or looking to trade for and uh, how they're going to do, in theory at least, in your sealed pulls. Yep. And remember, guys... Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and tell us how we're doing. And remember, strike first and strike hard.